Hey, what's up guys? It's Brian. And you ever wonder where the term 420 originated from? I know there's a lot of rumors out there, but what does Louis Pasteur, four high school jocks, the Grateful Dead, and the United States Coast Guard all have to do with the term 420? We're going to find out right after this. That's right. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Brian, and we're gonna dive deep. That's right, we're gonna dive deep and find out the origins of the word 420, or the term 420. Where did it come from? What does it mean? Um, I've heard a lot of different rumors in the day. You know, I've been around for a minute. You guys know how that goes. Um, I heard uh, when I was younger, uh, Hitler's birthday, 420. That was always one, which I never understood what that had to do with marijuana whatsoever. Um, and there's a lot of different rumors, but, I'm here to tell you guys the truth. That's right. We're going to deep dive into this and we're going to find out what Louis Pasteur, four high school jocks, the United States Coast Guard, and the Grateful Dead all had to do to come up with this term. They're all part of it and we're going to jump into it right now, guys. So the term 420 comes from four high school uh, athletics. I don't know if you want to call them jocks, but they were involved in athletics. And uh, they had heard a rumor, or maybe they knew the gentleman. Um, there was a United States Coast Guard who was a Coast Guard member who was stationed in California. This is uh, Southern California, I believe. And uh, he had a crop of a couple plants growing out in the woods. And he, uh, from what I understand in the story, from what I read on the internet, is that uh, he gave a map to the plants to these kids. And so uh, every day after school, they had athletics, so they would meet at 420 by the Louis Pasteur um, statue. That's right, guys. If you guys don't know who Louis Pasteur is, every time you drink a glass of milk, you can thank Mr. Louis Pasteur because he invented pasteurization. That's right. I don't know how he ends up in this story, but he does, guys. So they would meet every day at 420, and they would go look for the elusive treasure, the, the plants, and uh, ended up not ever finding them. But the term kind of caught on around their group. And uh, they called themselves the Waldos, or maybe uh, a couple of the high school kids called them the Waldos because they always hung out on a wall. So they were the Waldos. Well, they every time they would want to go smoke or if they asked if someone was holding, they'd be like, hey, uh, you 420? Oh, hey, uh, what's going on at 420? Well, one of the Waldos after graduation went and followed the Grateful Dead and he kind of got into that uh, culture and he kept using the 420 term and it caught on with the Grateful Dead people and then so on and so on and so on. It went off like wildfire, guys. That's right. So that's where the term 420 comes from. 420 comes from the, the, the search of the elusive flower. That's right, guys. So every time you guys are headed down to Marvin Mary J's at 2208 Needles Highway in Needles, California, that's right, guys. You think of that 420. You think that you are just like those guys out looking for the elusive flower, guys. That's right. This is the first day of the countdown to 420 guys we're gonna start dropping videos every day until 420 we got a lot a lot of things to get going guys if you haven't been to a uh, marvin mary j's and a cheryl's 420 ever you guys need to mark on your calendar 420 i need to get down there it's an all-day event we celebrate we blow it out big guys huge giveaways you name it it's going on down there this is one event you guys don't want to miss and now that you know the origins of 420 we look forward to seeing you down at Marvin Mary J's on 420 and every other day, guys. We will see you. Make sure you're checking out the dailydank.com. Jump on that, guys. We're dropping videos. And this begins the countdown to 420. Who's ready, guys? Blow up those comments. What's the most exciting thing you're looking forward to 420? Is there anything I missed about the history of 420? Blow it up in the comments, guys. Make sure you're hitting that like, subscribe, and share button. And I uh, look forward to seeing you guys. We'll see you on the next video. What up?